Hello there, once again, Dr. Krish Bab here. The calorie is a hot topic worldwide. Calorie consumption, calorie content, calorie expenditure and so on. The term calorie coined by the Frenchman Clement 200 years ago has been defined and redefined. Simple understanding is the energy required to heat a particular quantity of water by 1 degree centigrade. All food items have calories in the resting state. Conception of food by cellular metabolism releases the calories useful for the daily expenditure for the body, just like the fuel for the diesel engine or the generator. Conception of extra food releases extra calories which is deposited as fat in the body. Avaricious deposition of fat, or for that matter, money, is harmful in the long run. Food is composed of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Fats release the maximum calories, followed by carbohydrates and proteins. Any food that is sweet to taste is calorific, including the fruits, excepting aspartame, sucralose and stevia. All living organisms require calories for their day-to-day -day living. The elephants need them to maintain their image, whereas the ants require them to retain their collective rage. The basic energy requirement of the body to maintain its daily chores is called the BMR or the basal metabolic rate. 70% of BMR is devoted to maintenance activities, 20% for muscle activities and 10% for digestive functions. The energy requirement of the organs are the liver, the brain, the muscles and the kidneys in that order. Surprising fact is that the heart requires least energy for its relentless service. The brain consumes more energy than the brawn in the resting state. Even sitting for hours together can consume calories. You can ask the backbench warmers. The pregnant lady requires extra calories for the healthy growth of the fetus. Children, adolescents also require extra calories during the growth spurt stage. Teenagers wage caloric wars with their parents and youngsters who are fond of each other exchange calorific burners. We even want to know the calorific value of the vehicles like how much it consumes and how much power it produces. India ranks a lowly 126th in the world in the food energy intake index. This is in spite of the fact that India is within the top 5 in most of the food productions, be it cereals, pulses, lentils, legumes and most of the vegetables. Inequitable distribution, hoarding of food and colossal wastage are the probable causes. Youngsters who want to burn more calories go for calorie pie too. Pilgrims who want to burn their last calories travel to Calvary Hill. Hollywood has seen many actors do insane calorie restrictions to play their roles. Perkin Phoenix went one step further and got the Oscar. No joking. And coming to the burning question, there is no heuristic approach for weight reduction or calorie restriction or whatever. The equation is simple. The calorie consumed should be less than the calorie expended. Every day some extra effort, extra attempt should be made to burn extra calories because the human body gets used to the daily chores. WHO requires 1800 to 2000 calories, kilocals that is, of energy as the basic daily requirement for a healthy adult. 
Many governments require the food producers to label the contents, the nutrients and the calorie content of the food. In India, the FSSAI monitors this, the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. Eat to live, do not live to eat is what Socrates said. Deny one delectable item or meal. Defer one comfort or comforts. And donate some calories to the needy to maintain the long lasting fire inside us. After decades of non stop calorie consumption and production and millions of mileage, the human engine finally lays still, offering calories to the ultimate funeral pyre. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Do send your feedback, your likes as well as your dislikes. And please wait for the next topic on weight reduction and fasting, which is going to be even more interesting. Thank you once again.